How can we be able to enhance users' experiences in Business Central using reports? At times, we face situations where users require reports in a specific format that they'd like the base application format be replaced with a different format that they are uh, may be so specific in and they'd like um, maybe to add a few things in it or uh, totally custom format that uh, a report extension will not really add um, value to it or you won't uh, satisfy that particular need. So we have report substitutions in Business Central that will basically substitute the whole report and display a different report. For instance, this is an inventory list report that we'll try and use today. When you preview it, this is how it's displaying. It is using an aerial font format, but we just would we are, we'd like to tweak it a little bit and have our own sort of format. So instead of affecting the base application report, which is not recommended, then we substitute the report and we will be able to create our own version of the report and then now display to the user that particular report. When you substitute a report, there are some, uh, uh, there are some tips or recommendations that you should consider when doing that. One thing is um, the report layout or the data items used in the report should be the same as the ones using the other report. So in the event that this report is run, uh, maybe with report.run, a runtime error should not be generated um, for you maybe having used a different data item that is not part of the, which is not similar to the other data item. And then, um, so this is the inventory list report that I'm using to substitute the caption of the report should be similar to the other uh, original report just to give some uniformity to make sure that you don't affect the bookmarks that are already in the system to make sure that the experience of the user will remain as seamless as possible in as much as we have given them we have enhanced and given them a new format nothing else changes so <coughs> we do have this new report inventory list with a new appended but the caption we have retained the inventory list and we'd like to substitute so i'll use shift alt e to uh, display the events that can be subscribed to and then i will search for substitute report Okay, but now what we need is on after substitute report uh, trigger. So this is the one that we'd like, uh, the one in report management. So the code unit that we'd like to subscribe to is on after substitute under report management. And when we look at this trigger under report management, we have several subscribers. So if we are to search on after substitute, this is where the event is being raised. So the event is being raised by the substitute report a method that is also subscribing to another event in the code unit report triggers. And it contains um, the substitute report which is a business event, meaning it won't change. There's a promise that it won't change. And uh, we are having a report ID, the run mode, the uh, record ref, and the new report ID. So these are uh, options that will help us to determine if we'd like to substitute or not. We can, for instance, use the run mode. Um, maybe if the run mode is... Uh, synchronous or whichever option so 
so let's look at what the run mode is containing is it normal or is it print is it save us maybe we just like to we just like to substitute it when the run mode is maybe run model or execute for instance so if it's execute maybe or normal then we can have uh, that condition but if we'd like to really just substitute our report another good tip is to confirm that if this report id is not substituted it could have been substituted and uh, we might not need to substitute it so if it is the inventory list that we have just generated then we need to now give it a new report id uh, copilot is trying but it is not giving me the right report so we have our inventory list new report that we have created and it's as simple as that we confirm that of course so the report id it is is still the inventory list now we need to pass the new report id by reference as the new report id in our substitution for us to be able to substitute our report so so with the, with this we can basically be able to run our report and uh, we'll get our new report in our output what is it doing okay so now let's go to our items and uh, be able to preview our report so the on after substitute trigger is automatically raised when we sort of run the report when we use the static methods like run run model or when you use the tell me what you tell me <laughs> tell me what you want to do feature and be able to search for the report then it will be substituted at that point or we run the report using report.run or execute the report from a page action or similar to what we are doing so when we click on the inventory list the normal inventory list we can clearly see that the report layout is now different it is now from src report and all this so this is our new layout that we are using instead of the old layout that we we had previously and uh, just to limit the number of items so the report will be different from the original that we generated simple difference is just in terms of the font that has been used in the report nothing much on the time in terms of the structure but i've retained most of the things but uh, given them a better view of the report uh, we can get deeper into it maybe in terms of maybe how the new report is displayed maybe with a different colors and all that but this is how we substitute um, report. So to avoid maybe changing a lot in terms of the base application or giving the users uh, too much or having uh, sort of, uh, we can also use report layouts and create, change the layout and make that the default layout. That's, that's another option. So it's just, it just depends on your use case really. And with the run mode options that we are having here, uh, and um, the ability to choose where when when you'd like to substitute maybe you just want to change the report when you're printing uh, maybe the printer that you'd like to use will best be suited in a different format rather than the one that is uh, currently being used so it's it's dependent on your use case at least it's good to know if you haven't maybe used substitution of reports it can add value depending on the use case that is is specific that needs that particular substitution of the report so i'll see you in the next video tell me what you think about report substitutions what do you feel can be added on it do you feel that it's a feature that you can utilize so i'll see you in the next video if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one.